So what is architecture? You start. Very, you start. Very big question. Architecture cannot really be defined. Maybe it starts where building stops. Architecture is where new possibilities are explored. Architecture is everywhere where people find new possibilities and not the answer of, or that can, an answer that is right and wrong, but uh, uh, where you explore and you discover new things. That's where architecture can be found. If you, if you look at uh, construction in totality uh, throughout the globe, <clears throat> the statistics have it that architects are only involved in 5 to 10 percent of construction, which is surprising in a way, but that is kind of undermining what Thomas just said. Architecture starts with building kind of stops. It seems to be, you know, well, some people might say the cream on the top. I don't think it's cream, I think it's absolutely quintessential. And that 10% might hopefully influence it on the 90. Because without architecture, I think we, um, we will do what in, in German we would call um, das Gewöhnliche, the, the usual, the, the known, the common. the common, right? There's nothing bad about common, but we only resolve things, and I believe that is a core principle in architecture, if we enter Terran Vag, think the new, to get out of the usual, to go to the unusual. The unusual meaning functionalities that uh, come to play, that we have to answer to, because the world, let's face it, is changing dramatically. And, and we fundamentally believe that architecture has a big role in answering these questions. And uh, what can architecture do? Architecture uh, is not only about itself. But architecture is a product of a human being and always communicates something. So first of all, it, it expresses what we dream of about the future, but even more than that, it should cater to humanity. Architect, architecture should really think how to enable people and empower people to be themselves and to live something they dream of. Not what architects dream of. Said, done, nailed it. <laughs> and uh, what is your architectural position? Well, I mean, basing on, on uh, the last question that Thomas just said, that's what we think an architect should do. Well, that's at least what we think we should do. We're not dogmatic, you know, every architect has his own agenda and his own dreams and how he's catering to the bigger architectural picture in this world. We believe that um, the human being is in the center, right? And everything that comes with it, you know, his dreams, but also his necessities, the functionalities, how we live with our environment, how that person maybe, you know, gives his um, lifetime and what he achieved to his children, you know? And, and again, the architect being really in the center of what we call sustainability, you know, the fundamental uh, explanation is it's economics, it's ecology, and it's society or cultural things. And I can't think of any other profession that sits right in the center of that. We might not have power, political power, but we have the power to change the world. I really believe in that. So what, do you, what we do with our architecture is trying to sit in this moment. It's a noble um, position and, and try to answer these questions. It's not easy, but that's the beauty of it. And how do you see yourself or the office in comparison to other architects? Well, architects talk amongst themselves and talk with each other. And even in society, architecture is often discussed uh, in a way that, that you would try and, try and discuss styles, tastes. But we don't really believe in that. So we like many styles, we like many different ways of architecture, many, many different kinds of architecture. And um, we believe that it's more a question of what kind of approach or what kind of style even would be the right way or would be the right attitude to approach a problem or to, to maybe make something unfold or shine out of, of an environment where you would have never thought that this could appear. So 
the question of style and approach and strategy is always bound to the search for something completely new or for a new discovery. And what is your design method? We call it more jam session. You know, we did music before we became architects and uh, <clears throat> we were singing. If you're singing, you have to listen to fit in, right? But if you do this right, create harmony, actually bigger harmony. So um, for us, we, we try to have flat hierarchies and have um, the best ideas fight with each other and win, maybe, with each other, right? So that in the end, it's not clear what the outcome is if you start a project. That's why you can't have signature style. That's just fashion or it's, a, it's an economic tool for a profession. But it doesn't necessarily um, you know, give the, the right tool and method to create the best answer. That's why we try to shy away from it. That's also, if you want to be more holistic, meaning if you start with the product design, which we do, and you end up with an urban development, which we do, I think there's a lot of in-between, but one can create um, solutions for the other. So it's the same with pockets. We have clients with very deep pockets, you know, five-star luxurious hotels or museums or whatever. And we have clients that uh, have to come by with a uh, hundred bucks a year uh, in Africa. So, and they need solutions too. Um, so you can't go in with a clear vision or a precognition of what you're trying to, to do. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is if you include as many bright, bright minds as possible um, to creating a method to come to a solution. And that's that where we you discover things. You know, the 20th century has been the, the, the century of specialization, you could say. And we discover now in the, in the 21st century that especially architects have cherished an education that taught them to collaborate, to understand many different professions, and even bring together, together very pragmatic things such as uh, functional aspects, necessities, costs, but on the other hand also poetics and, uh, and beauty. And, uh, and if you under and understand that, that you have to be able to jump in your brain from very, very pragmatic things to very musical aspects, for example, uh, then you discover the, the very the very heart of architecture. So this is what you call a grafting on your mission statement on the web page. This is when one we, way. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's funny, when we were looking for a name in the beginning, it was clear it wasn't about us. That's not part of the my Krugerberg architecture. It's about a way of thinking, which we just described. Um, and grafting describes this in many, many ways, you know, botanical. Um, I know it means corruption, that's not what we're after, it means hard work, but it's really bringing assumed opposites together um, in order to overcome a problem, um, you know, uh, creating a synthesis that can answer to many complex questions. And that's uh, the society we live in, it's dynamic, it's complex, and it uh, won't cease to be that uh, au contraire. So um, you've got to be open to embrace the other. Right, and, and be curious about it and maybe love the other because there you will find something that is re maybe reflected in yourself but you will find answers that if you do it yourself and the usual way you will never find it.